Hi, today I'm going to do a quick video on configuring Honeywell Enterprise Browser. Honeywell Enterprise Browser is an application which allows you to provide a lockdown web browsing experience to your users. You can lock down the browser to a specific set of URLs or uh, to a specific set of um, domain names to control or prevent users from browsing the web and only using the web applications that you determine that they can use. So Honeywell Enterprise Browser is included with all Honeywell devices preloaded and um, all devices have at least one year term license or one year subscription licensing included for Enterprise Browser free to use on your device. After the first year, you can buy additional subscription um, uh, pricing to continue using the applic application after the first year. So as I said, this is a quick tutorial on getting started with Enterprise Browser and conf configure it for, for use. So the easiest way to configure Enterprise Browser for the first time is to configure it on the device. And uh, to con configure it on the device, you use our other, you'll need to use our other application, Honeywell Launcher which allows you to get into an admin mode and configure enterprise browser. So I have uh, did a quick video on configuring Honeywell Launcher. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out on how you configure Honeywell Launcher. So to get started, uh, we'll start Honeywell Launcher so I can get into the admin mode of enterprise browser. So I'm uh, clicking Honeywell Launcher on the screen right there. Scroll down and I need to turn Honeywell Launcher on. Press OK. So it's going to ask me for um, a username and password to get into the admin mode. So the, the default username for administrator is admin and the default password will be admin. When you log in the first time, it will ask you to change the, the password to a new password, so you need to do that, but I've already changed that password on this particular device. My password is um, admin1. Just type in admin1. Okay, login in. Okay, so my device is now in uh, the Honeywell Launcher admin mode, and this is the mode which allows me to configure Enterprise Browser on the device directly. If you uh, launch Enterprise Browser from the, the typical Android launcher, you won't have these configuration screens that you'll that you'll see because the idea is the um, users, or normal users, are not allowed to configure Enterprise Browser, only the admin user. So you can see Enterprise Browser on the screen there. So I'm just gonna click that. So this is, this is what, uh, Enterprise Browser looks like. There's two modes. There's a portal mode and a whitelisting mode. So by default, Enterprise Browser is, is in the portal mode. Then I can select up to, provide up to four portals, web portals, uh, where I, I can define a home page URL attached to each one of those portal, and the user can switch between them using this drop down list. I can enable and disable the portals. I can rename the portals as well. So uh, moving on to configure, I'll press the right hand uh, button, top right hand button there. I click on settings and I then I go into portals and you know, it's very easy. I can just turn on and off the portals as I wish. Um, so my particular use this this sample, I'm only going to have one portal for the user, and to click the um, the URL attached to the portals and the options for that portal, I click on the portal in the list. So right there, just click there. So I can change the display name. So this is the display name which appears in the uh, the the men the the drop down menu for the user. So I'll name this one maybe production. So that's another example where you could have multiple portals. You might have a, 
a production portal or a live portal, maybe a training portal, and the user can switch between those different portals. So I select, uh, select production, and then I click my uh, home page. So put in my home page, I'm just going to use a Google home page. So if you um, if if you use SAP ITS Mobile, it's a very common sort of web application which rugged devices are used with. You'd put your SAP your ITS Mobile SAP ITS Mobile um, URL in there. You just you know paste it in there or type it in. Uh, press OK. Uh, another typical thing which is really useful is this uh, ability to change the wide viewport. So um, with this setting right here, use wide viewport, having it on, it will use the default wide viewport of the browser or of the display. But if you turn that off, then you, you can use this option here, the viewport width to easily control the scale and the size of the text and optimize uh, whatever web page you're viewing to use the full dimensions of the screen of the device that you're using. So if you want to make the uh, the screen appear larger or to scale up, you'd make the number smaller, like 100. Um, 220 is the de default viewport width. But if you want to make it um, the text smaller, view more things, you uh, you would obviously increase it. But um, it's a number you would just change and experiment with and get the, the value right that you'd deploy across all your term terminals. But Again, a very uh, useful thing. But uh, that's really all you need to do um, just to get it working. I'll go back, production, back to the portals, or back out. And there we go. That's uh, We now only have one portal there, and it's going um, straight to, to Google. Obviously, you, you wouldn't do this to Google, you know, the Google search page because you'd be able to, you know, click on anything and, you know, link to anything. But, you know, you would actually use the portal mode for, um, you know, your own intranet, intranet side or web application, which doesn't link to, you know, other destinations. It's a, it's a good mode to use. But if you can't really control that linking out to other applications or other um, URLs or destinations on the web, there's the, the whitelisting mode. So I'll show you how that works. So I'll just... Um, Go back into the menu, press settings. I go into advanced. And you see there's this other option here, enable whitelist URLs, domains. So I'm going to turn that on. Then in that second option here, whitelist URLs, that's where you can add your domains. So you can see I've already added a domain in there, honeywell.com. You can add new URLs, um, you know, delete, things like that. Um, edit. Uh, you'll be able to select a default search en engine. So maybe you might want to do none if you don't want you know, users searching anything at all. But I'll just um, use uh, Google just for the, uh, uh, for, for the example. And then I can also set a home page. So it might be you know www.honeywell.com within within my whitelisting, um, and uh, there's the ability to set rules or uh, more intelligent rules about what um, URLs are allowed based on search patterns and things like that. Uh, but yeah, very very flexible, and the ability to control you know the size and the scale is also within the uh, the whitelisting mode as well. So I'll move back to, uh, back to the application to show you what this looks like. Okay, this is the advanced white whitelisting mode of Enterprise Browser. If I just type a search term in the URL box, that will work. I've allowed access to the Google search engine. 
But if I you know, click on any of those links, which are not Honeywell.com, we'll say, hey, that domain's not whitelisted. Okay, okay, show me the whitelisted URLs. Okay, I can just click on Honeywell.com and it'll show me the, the results for Honeywell.com. And then I can just click on a Honeywell.com domain and you can see I have uh, full access and full browsing within that domain. So that's uh, what Enterpriser looks like and that's how you can um, configure it easily. If you want to capture the configuration, it's uh, very easy. I'll quickly show you how. We'll just go back to the uh, home page of Honeywell Launcher. We go into our, uh, our Android settings. We go to settings. We scroll down to Honeywell settings. We enable provisioning mode. Provisioning mode was already on. I switched it on before. I go back. Go back to the Honeywell Launcher home page. And we find Power Tools. It's up the top here. I select Easy Config. I select the menu. I select Generator. And then Easy Config has created this enterprise browser.xml. This is located on the device on the internal storage, Honeywell folder, Easy Config folder, and generated folder of that um, of that, that particular folder it will be called enterprise browser.xml. You can grab that XML file and easily deploy that to other devices. Um, create staging barcodes or um, you'd use a, an MDM to push that uh, Enterprise Browser XML out to other devices to easily configure the settings that you've just uh, created in Enterprise Browser on your uh, test device. Um, yep, that's the end of my video. Hope that was useful. Please leave uh, any comments or questions in the uh, sec comment section below. Thank you.